There is a new treatment for sports injuries that just might cure you of your aches and pains. It's called PRP therapy. Some big name athletes are doing it, and you can too. Tonight, we get an inside look at the treatment that uses your own blood to heal you. Elizabeth Murch is trying something new to treat a painful tennis injury. I felt a, a swooshing of heat and then pain and my racket dropped. Two months later, she is still in pain. So at McConnell Spine Sport and Joint Center, we filling that whole thing up. Nurses take some of her blood. I got a girlfriend. Put it in the centrifuge and spin it to get a high concentration of her platelets. So you're grabbing the platelets yep, and I'm mixing them up. This is platelet-rich plasma therapy, injections using Elizabeth's own blood. You feel a little tapping. Put directly into her tendon. You can see on the ultrasound that long white line is the needle, and that is the injection. There's nothing added. Sports medicine physician Jason DePore says what's special is that it's rich in platelets. And what we're doing is injecting it into areas of tendons that have been chronically injured in the hopes that you know it can help boost some of their healing properties and get them back in the game. PRP got a lot of attention after Tiger Woods reportedly had it done. And another big name, Heinz Ward, launched PRP into the spotlight. Touchdown, Heinz Ward. Now success of the pros is giving others a chance at relief. Columbus triathlete Jen Shaver struggled with painful tendinosis in her hamstring. I couldn't perform at the level that I wanted to. She did PRP six weeks ago. And now is back to running. It's very quick. The recovery is very easy. I didn't have to take any pain medication afterwards. And she avoided surgery, just like Elizabeth. If you do it in your elbow, then you have a better chance of success, and success in this case might be pain reduction. Dr. DePoor says it's best for golfers or tennis elbow. A single injection is $350, and insurance rarely covers it, at least right now. Another concern, success varies. A study from the Journal of the American Medical Association questioned PRP's effectiveness. And that is true. It doesn't work for everyone.